Good evening, friends. This is Sister Gwendolyn Song. It is August the 8th, 2020, and I come to you this evening to share a prophetic dream that the Lord had given to me yesterday, yesterday morning. This dream is of particular uh, interest to those who live in the state of Colorado. In this dream, I saw a piece of paper, and it was spoken to my spirit. It was a bulletin. The bulletin said in black and red letters, bold-faced black and red letters, warning to the state of Colorado. And that was the end of the dream. And it was a very strong dream. It woke me from my sleep. Now, when I took this dream to the Holy Spirit, this is what was spoken to my heart. This is what was spoken to my heart by the one, the one who testifies to all truth. That this is a warning to the residents of Colorado that the Lord God Almighty is coming in a vengeance to bring down the bunkers of the elite there. All of those underground tunnels that will be used to house the people of lawlessness in the days ahead. He knows where each and every bunker is and they cannot hide from the Lord. His eyes go to and fro the earth like a mighty war machine, and he will come down and strike them in his vengeance for spilling the blood of the innocents. Again, this is the message that the Lord sent to me in a, in a dream yesterday morning. As an end time messenger of the Lord, I am bringing forth this message in fullest humility for my king. And I'm going to read three verses here. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 19. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake terribly the earth. In Revelation chapter 6, verse 16. And said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of God. Amen and hallelujah. There are many people out there who are not aware of these deep underground bunkers. So at the conclusion of this video, we'll show you some uh, brief video coverage of some of the limited information out there on the Internet. One of the most uh, notorious bunkers in the state of Colorado, and I would say it's more than a bunker. It is a, a city of refuge for the elite, and that's under the Denver International Airport where you are welcomed with a large blue horse named Lucifer when you fly in there. Uh, definitely um, a mascot of the Illuminati there. So that's one of them. And of course, NORAD, and there's other places around the USA. Friends, uh, the king is coming. That's the bottom line, the Lord Jesus Christ. So let those mockers and scoffers repent and call upon the name of the one true God of heaven and earth. And if there's anyone out there today who wants the hope of eternity in heaven, a place where the Bible says that there's no more pain, there's no more suffering, no more oppression, you must turn from a lifestyle of sin and live in a manner that pleases a holy God. Now, there's nothing that we can do to earn this gift, the gift of salvation. It's free, but we must simply believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done at the cross. He took on the penalty for the sins of all mankind, and we must simply believe in his finished work at the cross and then strive to follow him all the days of our life. And again, it's a free gift. So you could say to the Lord, I don't want your free gift, Jesus. I would rather go to that other destination. Well, that's up to you. But you cannot serve two masters. You must love one and hate the other. But heaven is waiting for all of those who call by faith, believing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, well, friends, that's it for now. I pray that everyone has a, a safe and a godly weekend. Let's stay 
uh, united in prayer and in fellowship and just continue to uh, call on the Lord, friends, in prayer for those who are lost. Pray for our enemies. Pray for those who are being persecuted around the globe. And uh, pray for those who were involved in the attack in Beirut, Lebanon, uh, just a few days ago. What's going on around the globe is, uh, is evidence that the king is coming. All right. Love you guys. Shalom. That's a little too close for comfort, lady. Oh, oh, damn. Welcome to Illuminati headquarters. I mean, Denver International Airport. Down in the trenches, out of sight and mind, there is an underground city. And just like all cities, there's a freeway system. In this case, full of tugs, carts, and sometimes chaos. This is one of two 7,000 foot tunnels under DIA. It is huge down here, more than a million square feet of space. And just over that wall, well, that's the train that you take. It reminds you of an actual freeway system. There are all kinds of signs posted and speed limits to follow. And then there's this, a piece of graffiti by an airport worker. Or is it a sign of strange things that exist deep under the airport? Is there a secret city down here? Well, there's certainly a city of people working, but it's not a secret. What about a military complex? No military complex. Never seen that. Have you ever seen them do psychological warfare testing? Never seen any testing like that. You know, a lot of people think there's an alien base. You know, uh, people think that. I've never seen any little green men walking around. 